Hi everybody, my name is Alan Rich. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is go get a deck of cards, and out of that deck of cards, all you need is nine cards. If you don't have nine cards, you're at the office maybe, just go get a uh, some index cards or business cards and write a different card on each business card or index card. Doesn't matter which card you choose, just nine different cards. So what you're gonna do is take uh, nine cards, you're gonna make three piles of three, face down. Using your left hand, the more receptive hand, touch one of the piles. Look at the bottom card on that pile. So in my case, it's the eight of spades. You're gonna place this one on either one, the double pile on the single pile. So now you have a single pile again. Now, spell out your card. So in my case, it was the eight. One card for each letter, E-I-G-H-T. You're gonna take the rest of the cards, place them on top. Now eight of, so you'll do of, O-F, the rest on top. And then mine was spades, yours of course, I don't know what your suit is, so you'll have to pick what it is, but make sure you spell it with the S at the end. So spades, S-P-A-D-E-S, -E the rest go on top. Then spell the word love, L-O-V-E. The next card you turn over should look fairly familiar. And there you go. If it didn't work for you, then try it again. Now, let me teach you how that's done. So for me to teach you a magic trick, I have to give you the magician's secret oath. So everybody raise your right hand, cross your fingers, place it behind your back, raise your left hand, and say, I state your name, promise to never ever reveal this secret, on an NBC special. Good. Now that you're sworn in, I'm going to teach you how this is done. And the funny thing about this trick is that all you have to do is do exactly what I did to you, and it'll work for you. In fact, you're really not even going to know why this trick works, but it'll work. And that way you can be magical, and it's still magical for you. So you get any cards, you, three piles of three, you deal them out uh, each each one, just as I did in the video. Don't forget the of in the middle. And then at the end, that card, their card, will be fifth from the top. So you can spell love. Uh, my name's Alan. I could have said, oh, my name's Alan. Why don't you spell Alan? A-L-A-N. Flip over the next card. I could have said spell magic. M A G I. Turn over the C, and there's your card. Now, the, the, the neat thing about this trick is that you can do it for two people. They each have nine cards. You can do it for 100 people. And just everybody gets nine cards, and you can do this. Uh, you can also do it over the phone. So if you have a nephew in New York, you can call him up and say, hey, go get a deck of cards. I got a magic trick for you, and explain it as you go. Or you can do it on Skype, of course. That would be even easier because you can see what they're doing. When they look at their card, uh, you can look at it, but they might not want you to look at it, and that's fine too. But if you see it, it, it does make it a little bit easier to make sure they're doing the right thing. But uh, they can choose if they want to show you or not. Just keep it casual, like, oh, you can show me or not. It doesn't matter. And um, you want to practice this. You want to practice this consistently, even though it's very simple to do. When you're performing in front of a person, you want to have it really uh, simple, and that you don't have to really think about what you're doing. So when you practice it, uh, you'll remember every step of the way. It's it's uh, it really slows it down if you're like, uh, let's see, what do I do next? So you want it nice and smooth. You might also put some of your own personality into it, maybe some humor, but you can keep it pretty simple like I did with you and uh, just kind of walk them through the magic. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, 
have a great time being magical, you're going to be uh, really amazed how strong a reaction you'll get from this and such a, such a simple process. So have fun with it. Enjoy. Be magical. I also have Magic Trick of the Month Club. So if you want to join that, you'll learn a new trick every month. It's really great because you'll learn these kind of magic tricks where it's very simple to do, but they're very impactful. Life is too hard to be a muggle. So be magical. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.